Hi guys, this is Shah here at the Tech Blog, and today I'm just going to be doing a video on how to make a shoe size program. I know it sounds kind of funny, but it's quite a simple program. It's similar to how we made the currency program earlier on in this series, and I just want to end off my Python uh, tutorials with a simple program, and maybe depending on if I have time, I will also make another Python video, one final one, to uh, make a nice user interface, something that's more um, workable with the user rather than having text you could have something like uh, some graphical input for now this is probably going to be one of my last videos and it's going to be on a making a shoe size program for conversion so this the program that we're planning to make is just a conversion program uh, that converts size in centimeters to UK shoe size so you plug in your uh, shoe size and then it converts it into a UK shoe size and yeah that's really simple so as you can see, I've written the code already, um, so it's not much effort for you. So I'm just going to go like this so you can see the entire thing. As you can see, it's quite simple. What would you have in the first line? Well, the first line is a comment. What does the program do? Convert size in centimeters to UK shoe size. Then what does it output? It outputs, welcome to my program that converts size from centimeters to UK shoe size. So you're big, being welcoming to the user. Then. We're doing user input, so we want them to enter a decimal value only because, um, as you know, shoe size can come in a variety of ranges and um, generally uh, a person's shoe size is in uh, decimals, so we prefer to keep it in a float, but you can also have it in um, integer, but I prefer not to use integer because the person is more likely to have a decimal number as their shoe size, so you could remove this if you want to, but I prefer keeping it because it keeps the fluidity of the program. Then, as you can see, we have uh, around six if statements, four if statements, and three elif statements, or so seven, seven conditionals. So the first one, if it's 22.5, outputs four, 23.5, outputs five, etc. So it does that throughout the entire program. And so what you should try and do is, at this point, is understand what my program is actually doing. And, and, and I've added this final input so the person knows that the program's finally finished. So if I run it, there we go, okay. So let's, en let's enter a value that's within the range, so 25.5. Okay, UK size is 7, so we know it's working. Then you re rerun it, and then we'll add uh, something else like 90.1. As you can see, sorry, no data, and it, and it wants you to input, so it, so it just uh, completes the ending of the program. Alternatively, you could just have an exit system right here. So you want to have an input, and then you could just have an exit right here. Okay, save it, run it. And then you want to enter a value that's not in the, within their range. Sorry, no data. That's not in their range. Then you press enter, and then uh, it asks you if you want to kill the program. For now, I'll just keep it running. And so it's quite a simple program to understand. And again, the question is raised whether we should use float or integer. You can use any type. Uh, you can just leave it as an input if you want to. Just leave it like this so it accepts everything. But sometimes it can give an error. Because when you give an input to the user, it generally takes the number input as a string rather than having it as a flow or an integer value, which could cause up creating values. Sadly, there's no system in Python that lets you put in real numbers, and real numbers are not are any positive numbers, so you can put anything positive in. That's a type of data validation that you might have learned when you're doing GCC computer science. Anyway, that will do for me in this video. Thank you, like, comment, and subscribe.